This homework solutions video is for Science and Mechanics, Unit 5, Simple Machines, Section 5, Compound Machines. A crate is pulled up the ramp using a pulley system as shown. The radius of the crank is 0.5 meters and the radius of the axle is 0.25 meters. We need to find the mechanical advantage of this compound machine. In order to find the mechanical advantage of this compound machine, we need to find the mechanical advantage of each of the simple machines that make up this compound machine. So we have an inclined plane, we have a pulley system, and we also have a wheel, an axle, or a winch. So we're going to find the mechanical advantage of the inclined plane first. So the inclined plane mechanical advantage is equal to the horizontal distance where our load moves, which is 20 meters, divided by the vertical height that it travels, which is 5 meters. So the mechanical advantage of the inclined plane is 4. Next we'll look at the winch. So in the winch, we have the radius of the crank is 0.5 meters, and the radius of the axle is 0.25 meters. So dividing that out, we end up with mechanical advantage of 2. And then last but not least, we have our pulley system. So the pulley system is anchored over here, so we can think of this as the top of the pulley system. So if our force that's being applied is pointing towards that direction, that will count as a separate strand, which it is. Our effort force is being applied upwards, so that will count as one strand. We ground the first pulley, we have our second strand, we ground the second pulley, we have our third strand, and we ground the third pulley, we have our fourth strand. So the mechanical advantage of the pulley system is four. So the total mechanical advantage, or TMA, is equal to the mechanical advantage of the inclined plane multiplied by the mechanical advantage of the winch multiplied the mechanical advantage of the pulley system. So our total mechanical advantage is equal to 32. Part B asks us, if an effort force of 90 newtons is applied to the crank, what weight load can be moved up the ramp using this system? And again, we're going to neglect friction on this inclined plane. So the load force, F sub L, is equal to the effort force, F sub E, multiplied by mechanical advantage that we found in part A. So the effort force in this problem is 90 newtons, multiplied by that mechanical advantage of 32, gives us a load force approximately 2,880 newtons that can be moved by this compound machine.